Hello guys, in today's video we are going to take a look at some lights for a diorama. As you've probably seen, the only building with any light on my diorama is the cattle shed. And it looks pretty good, but when we try to demonstrate the lights on a vehicle by doing some uh, dark shot, the lights of the vehicles tend to overwhelm everything else. So it would be good to have some uh, controllable background light that we can maybe dim if we want to. So I've seen some cheap enough uh, little lights on AliExpress and I bought a few packets so let's see what they're like. These lights are meant for dioramas, you can get them in a lot of different scales, uh, very small scales that you might use for say if you're making a train diorama or something like that, maybe 187 scale, I'm not exactly sure what size the standard sort of Hornby trains come in. But they, there seems to be a wide range of them. The ones I got were marked as HO scale and I think they were, that's roughly 132 scale. It seems close enough to the vehicles I have anyway. So what you basically have is a plastic backing for a light. It's kind of imitating a, a floodlight I guess. Uh, with the, the little metal pole with the lights or with the wires all fed through it. In a nice and tidy kind of fashion. You have the two SMD LEDs on one side. And on the other side the wires come straight out of the pole so that's a 2mm diameter so you'd be drilling a 2mm hole straight down through your diorama and just feed the wires and the 2mm diameter metal pole down through the hole that you just drilled until the plastic hard stop is nice and flush with the base of your diorama so it should be nice and square so it should be fairly easy to install them. The first thing we need to do with these lights is figure out if there is a resistor in this circuit. So what you do is set your multimeter to continuity test and just test between the end of the cable and the point on the SMD LED that you can see. And as long as uh, no resistance comes up we know that there's no resistor in the circuit. So that's important because if we were to just connect this directly to a power supply we would more than likely just blow the LEDs. And since each of those has a uh, beep, that was the four wires we tested there and each of them uh, gave a beep which tells us that there is a dead short circuit between each of those wires and the LEDs. And that means that we need to add a resistor. If we had bought the LEDs in this from a common electronics manufacturer or something like Farnell or DigiKey, we would be able to look at the data sheet for the LED we'd get the forward voltage drop and we'd be able to calculate the resistor that we needed. You'd use this uh, simple formula so you'd have your supply voltage which you would know is probably 5 volts or 3.3 you'd subtract the forward voltage that you got from the data sheet and then you would uh, divide that value by your desired current so if you were looking at the data sheet, you'd know what the I max value was, the maximum current. But we don't know that, so you'd probably aim for maybe 10 milliamps or 20 milliamps, something like that. 20 milliamps is usually a test current, so you're generally safe enough considering that to be your max current. And most LEDs, I think, max out at 25 milliamps. But it's always best to check your data sheet. I try not to go over 20 milliamps if I can avoid it. But that formula is not much help to us because we don't know the forward voltage. So what we would generally do in this situation is just pick a resistor that you know won't give you too much current. So I usually start at 470 ohms. And then start working your way down until you get the current that you want. So just keep measuring the current with your multimeter. And when you get... The brightness that you want you mightn't have to go to the maximum current to get uh, the led bright enough for the application you might four milliamps or five milliamps could be enough it just depends on what you're trying to do and the type of led and your supply voltage so by starting with a high resistor and working your way down in kind of safe increments you will generally be okay in my case I started with the 470 ohm resistor that gave me a 4 milliamp current at around about 5 volts so that's okay. I then went to a 240 ohm resistor that got me 7.2 milliamps and finally I went to a 75 ohm resistor that got me 21 milliamps. So I'd probably not go with 75 
actually at the 240 it was probably bright enough but uh, I'd probably go for something like a 120 ohm resistor that's a fairly common size and just out of uh, interest the if you work back that formula we were looking at a while ago the forward voltage would work out somewhere between 3 volts and about 3.4 volts uh, depending on the current that you're drawing so that could be something that could be a way to uh, work out your your forward voltage and maybe give you an idea of resistance but it would only be a rough idea so that's all there is really to say about those little lights they were only about uh, three dollars something like that for a pack of five and they seem to be decent enough you get a, an okay amount of light out of them it's not, they're not huge led so you wouldn't be expecting a massive amount of light but i'll be installing those on the diorama at some stage so there'll be another video about that so i hope you like that and found it useful uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and uh, get the bell on and all that sort of stuff but that's all for today so thanks very much for watching